you are watching Hattie the Creator. I am Hattie, and today we're going to be doing my favorite thing to do, which is drawing. So let's get right into it. So on hitrecord.org, there is a user that goes by the name Not Mike, who is a very talented photographer. And I was looking through his pictures, and one of the pictures he submitted to a project that I was watching, he submitted this picture of a tile which intrigued me. I just looked at it and saw all sorts of different faces. So I downloaded his file and decided to remix it, as they call it on Hit Record, and basically just draw all the faces that were screaming out to me, begging me to bring them to life. What started out as just a few doodles and drawings on top of this picture turned into a full composition and this big mashup pile up drawing of random doodles and things. But it took me close to 20 hours over the span of a week. And so I'm just gonna rush through this and just put on some music and fast forward to a tolerable speed where you can still see what's going on and just kind of see the process. It's interesting to me, you can kind of see a lot of these faces just kind of come out like I was trying to stay as true to the picture as possible and a lot of them just really flowed naturally I might pop in here and there to share an influence of where a character came from there are a couple in here that I can obviously see what inspired them and kind of what different artists and things that I was into in the past that kind of motivated the character to come out here so sit back and relax and hang out a bit while I draw through this and speed up 20 hours into about 10 minutes
So at this point I have finished all the line art and I am happy with it and I'm ready to start laying down some colors. So for a good resource to look up color palettes and kind of get a good idea of what colors you want to use before you just start jumping in and throwing colors out willy nilly is this Adobe Cooler website. I use it quite a bit and it's really helpful. You can go in and create your own palettes and kind of see what complementary colors there are and drag things around and it's really customizable. Or you can also go in and look at other pre-made palettes that other people have used and liked and I end up just doing that for this one. I really like these bright pinks and purples and figured it would do well with this drawing to kind of mix it up a bit and, and keep things pretty harmonious across the drawing and so I pull this one in I just take a screen grab and then bring it into Photoshop and start coloring up This one eye Cyclops dude has a very comic booky feel to him. I was pretty into comics growing up too. I used to read any comic I could get my hands on to and try to draw the different artists styles and copy the different frames that I liked like the action scenes and stuff so that influence is coming out here too This guy here, I can totally see Brian Froud influence on him. Brian Froud is the artist that did all of the concept and character design for the Labyrinth movie, and he also did a ton of work on the Dark Crystal movies. So if you've seen either of those, you've definitely seen some of Brian Froud's work. This monster right here totally looks like a Rancor from Star Wars. This fish right here and the ghost flying around, the pink one, one of the earlier things I drew. Both have a very Dr. Seuss vibe to them. When I was little, I was really into Dr. Seuss. I loved to look at those books and draw the pictures. So I can see that influence even today still inside of me. This guy has a shocking resemblance to Disney's Goofy. I don't know if that was intentional or not, it just kind of came out that way. This grumpy looking bear guy definitely has a gummy bears vibe to him. From the old gummy bears cartoon. And that's it. Nearly 20 hours later, I finished the whole thing, colored it all in, and here's how it looks. I also started a new Etsy shop, so check that out if that's interesting to you. There is a link in the description below, and I threw up some products with this design on them. I did a green version as well, and I mostly did that because I personally wanted to buy a print just to stick in my office. If you want to purchase one of these yourself, click that link and check it out. This has been Hattie the Creator. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. 
Hopefully I inspired some creativity in yourself. And thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you on the next video.